Soul family, and welcome back to SoulCast for this week. I am really happy to be here. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to do a SoulCast for a couple of weeks. As you know, we are living in interesting times, and life keeps lifing. And so I'm really happy to be back um, with each one of you again today. I hope this little weekly message finds you doing well and that uh, you are applying the uh, uh, tools and techniques that we've been talking about here, um, that you've been contemplating some of the ideas and some of uh, my spiritual philosophy, energetic philosophy to assist you in your life as we are navigating this transition into a new frequency, into a new era of time and some really wonderful opportunities that are coming down the pipeline for each and every one of us. So this week, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about duality, and I wanted to talk to you about allowing. And so to get into this, as we know, we live in a world of opposites. We have male and female, we have light and dark, We have masculine and feminine. And as we go through our life and we are on our spiritual path and we are here for the development of our soul, we are here for spiritual evolution and to remember who we are as a literal son or daughter of God, of the one infinite creator of all that is. And you are a part of that creation, and you have access to our creator, both aspects of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And we have both aspects within us, just like we have um, a part of us that um, our light self and our shadow self. And we are here to get to know both parts of who we are, and to learn to love and appreciate both parts of who we are and how we can use these different aspects of duality to find balance, to find spiritual and soul mastery, to learn how to place our focus and get clarity and to go within ourselves so that we can connect to our higher selves and to the divine. And this is an this is not an easy task because here in 3D Earth, we get caught up in our human side and our spiritual side, and even our mental and intellectual aspects of ourselves. And there are good and not so good aspects of each aspect. So we live in an electromagnetic, holographic, fractalized reality. And so we have layers upon layers um, of similar sets of frequencies that are within us that then emanate out from us to create the reality that we choose to create for this lifetime. So remember how we uh, think, feel, and believe about ourselves, about our world, about our relationships is created from within yourselves as you access your higher self. And your higher self is still in the presence of God. And so you are not alone. You've never been alone. And so as you go within And as you try to find balance within these different aspects of yourself, you connect to call down the information, the guidance, and the wisdom you need. You connect with your higher self and with our creator to assist you in creating your life and aligning you with God's highest path and purpose for your life. And the way that you get those messages and that information is by going within, by
by stepping into the silence and going into meditation. Now, meditation is not always about just clearing your mind. Sometimes meditation is used for going into the quiet so that we can query and ask our higher self questions. But it's also to go within and ask yourself questions to get to know yourself better, to discover all of who you are, and so that you can have access to everything that you are meant to be and become. And so this life is such a beautiful um, opportunity for you to really go deep within and get clear about what it is you really want to create for your health, for your vocation, for your purpose. What do you really want to create and experience in relationships? And as you do those things, then how you think, feel, and believe on the inside will manifest as your reality on the outside. As within, so without. But many of us are running on learned programming, and we just find ourselves doing a wake, work, repeat. We kind of live on a hamster wheel. But how do we get off that hamster wheel and claim a better, more beautiful life for ourselves? That's by going within and changing how we think, feel, and believe. Now, while you're in your sacred space that we've talked about before, every day, it is important for you to spend 5, 10, 15 minutes by going within the silence and thinking about what you want to create for your day, what you want to create for your reality, and how do you want to express yourself in a higher vibrational and a more loving and higher reality, a more spiritually guided reality. And you get to choose that every morning before you go out into the world and about your day. Or you can work on this um, in the evening before you're ready to go to sleep. Now, affirmations are a really great way to change the way you think, feel, and believe about yourself and your current situations. We always want to create affirmations that are positive, that are loving, that are kind. I love myself. I respect myself. I approve of myself. I appreciate myself. I trust and value myself. And when I make mistakes, I forgive myself. These are the seven gifts that you give yourself. And as you can give yourself these things and in your day-to-day -day life, actually live those things, being respectful to yourself, trusting your intuition, and taking action on those inspired thoughts, appreciating the good things that you do every day, and maybe even writing them down in a gratitude journal so that you can appreciate a job well done and notate your accomplishments and even write down the evidences of how you see God's hands working in your life. The universe wants to love you and support you. And so it is really necessary for you to allow your guard to come down and trust the universe is going to bring you everything that you need and want in the perfect space and timing for you. Now, as you go within and you work on creating the life that you want and using your after your positive affirmations to get to rewrite the programming. We're putting those affirmations in there. And this has to be a daily practice so that you can rewire your neural pathways. But at the same time, as we work on our affirmations, we want to feel loving and positive and grateful because as you can incorporate those emotions with those affirmations, you'll be rewriting your neural pathways so that you can create a better reality. Why you do that, you're also changing your neurochemistry. Now, many people have been thinking poorly about themselves. They have negative self-talk and they are down all the time. 
Well, every time you feel those lower vibrational emotions, you create a chemical, a neurochemical response to that. And if you think that way long enough, you can become addicted to those neurochemicals. And so as you work on flipping that to a positive affirmation, a positive and supportive and encouraging thought and feeling about yourself and your life, it may take a little while to change those emotions and to change your neurochemistry so that you can start getting addicted or um, reprogrammed with the proper high vibrational chemicals in your body and in your self-talk that you will begin to start changing your life and getting different outcome and results than you've ever gotten before. So by allowing yourself to go within, to get clear about your heart purpose, to connect with your higher self, to your higher wisdom, your higher guidance, you can get clarity and focus for your affirmations and what you get to work on this week. And so keep working on these things. In the descriptions below, I will put some sample affirmations that might be a really good start for you to work on this changing of your programming and finding balance between your positive and negative thought processes and your light and shadow parts of yourself. We want to be in balance during this time. We actually want to be grounded, yet flexible, balanced, connected to our higher selves and the divine, and trust in ourselves and have faith. So again, we want to be grounded, yet flexible. We want to be balanced, also centered in our heart with our kindness and compassion, and then connected to our higher self and to the world. And we ask the universe to help us emanate out from us these higher frequencies, these loving frequencies, so that those things can be reflected back to us in our reality as the experiences that we have been longing and waiting for. So I hope this message can serve you this week. I encourage you to please allow these loving and positive energies into your life. I ask you to allow the wisdom of your higher self, of the divine feminine, the divine masculine, your light and shadow sides to come into center to be balanced. It's very difficult when we live out in the extremes, highs and lows, ups and downs, you know, um, left and right. It just makes life more challenging. So this week in your weekly practice, your daily practice, let's focus on allowing the love, the light, the wisdom, and the balance, heart-centeredness, and connectedness to bring into you the love and support that you need and deserve from the universe. Because you are loved more than you can comprehend at this time. And you deserve every good thing. You may have a lot of things on your list that you may want. Now, you can have all those things, but maybe just not all at the same time. So this week, focus on the three most important things that um, in your life right now. The things that you want to accomplish, the things that you want to experience. Now, these affirmations and these thoughts and processes and emotional mastery, it may take more than a week. It may take several weeks on these particular affirmations um, to change, start beginning to shift and change and help you as you transition from a lower frequency to a higher frequency of love and light, wisdom and grace. I hope all of you are doing well. I want you to know how magnificent each one of you are and how grateful I am for each one of you for being here um, on earth at this time. If you have any questions or concerns, please email me at hello at solulaire.com. If you need some one-on-one -on -one help to help make 
where I can assist you, get some clarity, help you formulate some even more personal, individualized um, affirmations or some techniques just for you and your situation, I would love to set up a coaching and mentoring appointment with you and possibly do some healing and clearing work for you. Please email me at soyalair.com or visit my website at www.soyalair.com. The links are in the description down below. I want you to know how grateful I am for you. And again, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you. Until next time, bye.